Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2, Nintendo Switch, I and Neo, and Steam. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2 just got another update. We've talked about Aether SX2 a few days in a row now, and it is on fire. Now, just a friendly heads up, I'm talking about a development version of Aether SX2, not the Google Play Store version of Aether SX2, and there is a big difference. The Google Play Store version of Aether SX2 is considered stable, where the development version is more or less experimental. Things might not work as anticipated. But if you're looking for a little bit extra performance, then you might want to check out a development build. To do so, head over to aethersx2.com, click on download, and then scroll down the page to where it says Close Testing Alpha. Click on the link there, click on the top folder, and then click on the top version. At the time of filming here, it's 2332.apk. Now, if you're coming from Google Play, there are a ton of new features here, and we've covered these in previous videos. However, if you've been keeping up with the development builds, there are three new things. Fix game properties, covers when started from launcher shortcut, a brand new CRT shader, and improve hash cache performance slightly in some games, like Star Ocean 3. To be honest with you here, and I don't think I need to say this, Aether SX2 is an awesome PS2 emulator on Android, and it's an awesome PS2 emulator in general. And speaking about awesome emulators, next up here we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Skyline has a brand new public build. To pick it up, head over to skyline-emu.1. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you are here, click on the download button at the bottom or click on the download button at the top. And then click on download here for version 1206. This new version brings about a bunch of improvements. Angry Video Game Nerd is running at 60 frames a second. The Takeover is running at 60 frames a second. Hyrule Warriors is in game. It's not necessarily playable just yet. It's missing a bunch of textures, but you can boot the game up. You can get into the level and I guess you can kind of play it if you're just looking at the map. With a few weird tweaks like turning off the anti-aliasing, the end is nigh is working. Pokemon Let's Go with the save file trick appears to be up and running between 10 and 14 frames a second at least for a little bit. We've talked about this one before but performance seems to be a little bit better. One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 is up and running. Sally Face is now playable at 60 frames a second. Next up here we're talking about Steam. If you're PC gamer, or I guess if you're a handheld gamer, the Steam Summer Sale is in full effect. It's on from now until July 7th, it's a great time to pick up a bunch of games on sale for extremely cheap, put them in your backlog and never ever play them, and then rinse and repeat during the next Steam Sale. And as a massive fighting game fan, I recommend picking up Guilty Gear Strive, Mortal Kombat 11, Dragon Ball Fighters, or Tekken 7. They are all on for great prices, but I don't recommend picking up just the base version. Get as much DLC as you can. And I'm not gonna lie here, I was a little bit disappointed not to see Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics on sale. If you are interested in legally purchasing ROMs from Sega, well, this might be the way to do it. There is a bundle deal, but this is just the normal price. The last piece of news comes courtesy of Retro Game Core. I completely forgot about this, but the Aya Neo Air is now up for pre-order. Now, if you're interested in the Aya Neo Air and you like choices, well, you're going to be excited to know that there are about 19 different choices in total. That is way too many in my opinion. They start at about $400 American, go all the way up to $1,300. And then you have to pay for shipping on top of that. These are not cheap at all. The most popular versions so far seem to be the Ioneo Air 512G, which has 24 of 50 sold, and the Ioneo Air Pro 512 gig version, which has 46 out of 100 sold. Now, in the most recent poll I ran on the community tab on this YouTube page, I asked, which line of handheld are you most excited for? 17% of you said the Ioneo Air. So if you are one of these 17% and you're excited about the Ioneo Air and you're picking one up, let me know what version you're getting in the comments below. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. Aether SX2, Skyline, the Steam Sales, or the Ioneo Loki, the Ain Loki, the Ioneo Air. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.